Howdy folks, thanks for joining me on this episode. I know I told y'all last week that there was going to be quite a few videos coming out. However, I went on vacation. I was supposed to have some videos that were, pro uh, not programmed, but uh, scheduled to upload. And then after I, I got home from being um, on vacation, I am sick. I've got some junk going on, but feeling alright enough this afternoon that I wanted to get on here and post a... Uh, a video for you guys show you guys uh, another hunt from the real McCoy ranch and if you guys want to hunt there with me as your personal guide and uh, I'll even film your your hunt uh, all the information will be down in the description below as well as different ways to contact me in order to set up your hunt this is another uh, hunt with a good friend of, of ours John Verhelst and he went on an arrow slinging spree a couple of weekends ago. We had an absolute blast. But before we get into it, I want to tell you guys that this video is sponsored by Upper Rosie. They make something that I didn't even really uh, realize it existed. Kind of neat working with these companies and seeing these different things that can be super useful for a lot of us. I think you guys are really going to love this product. And what it is, is it is a, they call it the Power Horse Solar Panel. It comes with several different adapter options. Uh, in here of course you have your instructions it's one-sided on a piece of paper that's how simple this thing is it's very much plug and play they send you some mounting screws or mounting hardware here's some adapters to change to a different uh, size here uh, if you want to put this plug this into a different camera or you want to do something else maybe you don't want to put it on a trail camera maybe you want to just use it on a regular 12 volt battery you've got some uh, different options here. This size here is your most common size for trail cameras, which is what I'll be using this uh, solar panel for. Uh, and then this size as well as this size. And this adapter pops on right there. It's very simple. So you have three different ad adapter options. Then what's so cool about this solar panel right here, and by the way, it comes with a 10 foot long cord, so that's super handy. But this solar panel, obviously it's not very big, but it's unusual. It's got some width to it. There is a battery built in here. This is your charging cable. It's all one package, which I think is so neat. You turn it on with the button on the back, your light will come on, it'll tell you your battery level. As of right now, I haven't charged this thing, but in order to charge this thing, pop these two screws off, plug your USB cable in, let it charge the battery fully. And then another cool thing about this is it comes with a metal bracket. Raccoons are notorious for destroying plastic brackets on solar panels. For those of you that have feeders, multiple feeders, you know exactly what I'm talking about. A metal mounting bracket is gonna be a game changer. But instead of, instead of having wires that go down and piggyback off the battery up to your camera, it's all one package. So you just take this thing and put your mounting bracket on the back back here. You could easily mount this to a T-post if you wanted to, if you're running this on a T-post, or shoot screws in the, in the top of it through a little sunshade if you have sunshade covers on your trail cameras. But after that, you get this thing set up, it's got the battery inside of it, turn it on, plug it into your trail camera, and you're ready to rock and roll. This is the only camera that I had lying around, and it's lying around because it's a piece of junk. <laughs> it's five points of junk. Uh, but anyway, as you guys can tell, I'm gonna just plug this in to the back right here, turn this trail camera on, and bam, it's running off of the solar panel, the battery inside of the solar panel. Now, as you can tell, there's no battery pack in here, so it's definitely running off of this. I find this to be a really neat tool that I think will be beneficial for a lot of us. So there'll be a link down in the description below for this Upper Rosy Power Horse solar panel. You guys go check them out. And I wanna say a huge thank you to them for sponsoring this video. And now, let's change directions back to the hunt. By the way, one quick thing as we transition into the hunt, I wanna tell you guys about the new 4B caps. I've got a huge box of hats here, thanks to Mr. John. Uh, he's hooked me up here. I'm gonna show you guys all these hats, and then we're going to, I'm gonna upload them to the website and make the website live. I've had a lot of you reach out to me and tell me that my website's not working. I know I've had it down, because I haven't had hats in stock. So I appreciate all of you reaching out and letting me know about that. Also, all of the new 4B shirts are uploaded to the website as well. But by the time you're seeing this video, I will have all the new caps and all the new shirts. They will all be up on the website. The website will be back and working. Thank you for those uh, of you that reached out to let me know the issue with the website. I really appreciate it. This was, uh, back to the hunt though, this was a fun hunt. I kind of want to lay a little bit of groundwork here. We set this quad pod up last year in the fall i believe 
We hunted out of it a few times, didn't have a whole bunch of success. However, there's a group of rams that we have out at the ranch, and they're every one of the rams, just about um, all the mature rams, are all absolute giants. They're huge rams. And we noticed in the morning times they liked hanging out up around the front gate. And where this quad pod is set up is up towards the front gate on one of the only water sources on the property in the dry season. Anyway, it's one of the only main water sources. We noticed that a lot of our harder to hunt species with a bow is quite a bit um, more doable from this quad pod up at the front of the property. And we've been using it quite a bit here at the beginning of the season. And it's proved to be <laughs> very efficient for us. Now this is a windy morning then that we got up in this quad pod. And we spotted the group of rams so we slipped in, fed on the other side of the tank, and then Jerry drove the buggy out, slipped out, and here came the rams. This was really neat, but I'm gonna let you guys uh, check it out right now. We had a good wind, this is kind of a crosswind, but it worked out well for us and John was able to make an absolute perfect shot on this huge Texas doll. Oh my goodness. Check him out. He's just as big as that dog on. You can see it started sparring, that's why he broke off. He almost yeah. broke off. Oh, he only got all this mask because I got small hands. <laughs> Golly, he is huge. It didn't run uh, any more than probably 20 yards at the most. Didn't Probably didn't even go 20 and then piled up. It was a great hunt and a great way to kick off the morning. This particular day was fast and furious and lots of animals hit the ground on that Saturday morning. I was planning on clumping quite a few of the sheep videos to get together, the sheep hunting videos together. However, I decided to split them up into separate videos. That way we can really appreciate each one of these animals individually. And this Texas doll is definitely one for the wall. And I think John decided to do a full body mount on that sheep and I don't blame him, I would too. I hope you guys enjoyed the sheep hunt, but before I go, I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of these hats. I'm gonna get them laid out here real quick. All right, y'all, I got a couple of dozen of each of these hats and these color schemes. These are all Richardson 112s, obviously. One of my favorite styles of hats to wear. I don't think these are gonna last long, so if y'all want some, make sure that you get your orders in quick. So here we have for the ladies or for the guys as well. We, this has been a huge hit with my family. They've all liked that digi camo or, or this gray and white camo, gray front, black font. My personal favorite, as you guys know. <laughs> Here's another one for the ladies or guys if you like wearing pink too. Here's another one of my personal favorites, black with the orange font that really pops I like it a lot and another one of my personal favorites the tan with the white back so there's a like I said there's a few dozen of each one of these colors you guys can find these on the website I really appreciate y'all watching I hope that y'all have enjoyed these videos hopefully this 
uh, junk and this eye funk that I've got going on will all be cleared up by this this weekend. I've got some really cool videos, and one that's going to be very special that will come out hopefully this weekend. If not, it'll be uh, next week. It's a surprise on a new piece of hunting land that I can't wait. I'm not going to give up too uh, too many details, but this one's pretty special to Megan and I. This particular piece of property will also be where we build our home. Kind of giving away a lot here, but anyway gonna be going out to the property hopefully tomorrow afternoon setting up our first feeder and camera trail camera maybe even a pop-up line or something I'm going to film that whole uh, video and experience with you guys and with Megan as well and for those of you that don't know that are newer to the channel Megan is my fiance for those of you that have been around for the last several uh, like probably six months eight months um, she has been in some of my videos not all of them but a few here and there and she's going to be adding videos and helping me out with the channel and everything that we've got going on here. Huge thanks to everybody that made this video possible. Um, I want to say a big thanks to Upper Rosie for the power horse for the solar panel. It's going to come in great use. You guys go check him out. Big thanks to John. I can't wait to show the, the rest of his hunts at the ranch. I'm going to be hunting at my lease this weekend. So lots of great stuff, fun stuff coming up for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all are awesome. And I'll see you in just a few days.